UK's foreign aid mystery as former Rwanda government aid admits you all never know. A former aide to Rwandan President Paul Kagame has claimed that how British foreign aid is spent in the nation still remains a mystery speaking about the UK aid programme, David Himbara told BBC Usite, the British aid is the worst aid because basically Britain dumps taxpayers' money into Kagame's budget so what happens to British aid, you will never know. Andrew Mitchell former International Development Secretary, admitted that foreign aid to Rwanda had briefly been suspended while he was here government frontbencher he told Usite, I suspended it and I restored it. And it has been restored not as general budget support, but as specific support to agriculture and deduction we know in Rwanda that the quality of the way our money is spent is yielding quite remarkable results. So, for example, in the last three or four years, Rwanda has managed to lift more than a million people out of poverty. Tony Blair once described Kagame as a visionary leader and Bill Clinton once called him one of the greatest leaders of our time. But Mr Himbara revealed he is worried about democracy under the Rwandan president as the nation heads to the polls today the former government aide turned critic said, it cannot be a fair election because the people who could have challenged him have been blocked from competing almost all the political parties are behind him and he himself announced a few days ago that he will win by 100%. So that's exactly what will happen. In the early elections some of the opposition leaders were imprisoned. They remain in prison. One of them was killed and others fled into exile. He added, as we were getting closer to the elections, the place started to get a lot more violent. I decided that that it was not for me. I fled and I went to South Africa. Millions of Rwandans will cast their votes later today in the country's third presidential election since an estimated 800,000 people were killed in a genocide in the country 23 years ago only two opposition candidates have been allowed to stand against him in this week's poll, and neither is expected to make any significant impact against the incumbent Kagam thanks for watching, please like. Share and don't forget to subscribe English News Hub for new excited videos.